Thank you for your interest in learning about groundwater. This Groundwater Foundation webinar will help you understand what groundwater is, how it is contaminated, and what you can do to prevent contamination. Hopefully this presentation will inspire you to take action. And if this is the case, please contact the Groundwater Foundation. How wet is our planet? About 70% of the Earth is water. This is water that has been around since the dinosaurs roamed. It has cycled through and has made it through every extinction that organisms did not. We have about 326 million cubic miles of water on our Earth, and that amount is not changing. Of that amount, around 97% is in the oceans. That means that 3% is fresh water. However, over 2% of that is frozen, and therefore not accessible. This leaves under 1% of fresh water that is actually usable. To put it in perspective, if all the world's water were fit into a gallon jug, the fresh water available for us to use would equal only about one tablespoon. As previously stated, 1% of the Earth's supply of water is actually drinkable. 98% of this drinkable water is found underground in aquifers. This water is called groundwater. You might wonder what groundwater is. Well, it's not an underground lake, but rather water stays saturated in soil and porous rock. Groundwater fills the cracks and pores of rocks and sediments that lie beneath the Earth's surface. It is stored in and moves through geologic formations called aquifers. You might be wondering, why is groundwater important? Well, groundwater accounts for 50% of drinking water in the United States, and Americans drink over 1 billion gallons of tap water per day. So that's like 500 million gallons of groundwater per day used. Irrigation for crops is the largest use of groundwater. More than 90% of groundwater is used nationally, and it is used for irrigation purposes. Certain industrial processes utilize water in the factory, such as paper manufacturing, food processing, and ethanol production. Groundwater is oftentimes the water used here. You might be asking where groundwater is found. The answer, groundwater is found nearly everywhere, at least in small amounts. The amounts available will differ based on the geology of the area. To access the water, wells are oftentimes drilled and the water pumped to the surface. The drilling depth will vary because groundwater does not occur at one depth because it is, again, not an underground lake. It is trapped in the sediment and that depth can vary. How does groundwater move? This is a very important concept for groundwater. It moves throughout the water cycle over and over again. Let's start by discussing evaporation. Evaporation is when the sun heats up water in rivers or lakes or the ocean and turns it into vapor or steam. The water vapor or steam leaves the river, lake, or ocean and goes into the air. Transpiration is a subcategory of evaporation that occurs in plants. They release water out of their leaves and it is taken up by the surrounding air. Water vapor in the air then gets cold and changes back into liquid, forming clouds. This is called condensation. Precipitation occurs because so much water has condensed that the air cannot hold it anymore. The clouds get heavy and water falls back to the earth in the form of rain, hail, sleet, or snow. When water falls back to earth as precipitation, it may fall back in the oceans, lakes, or rivers, or it may end up on land. When it ends up on land, it will either soak into the earth at recharge areas in a process called infiltration and become part of the groundwater that plants and animals use to drink. It may also run over the soil and collect in discharge areas such as oceans, lakes, or rivers, which is called runoff. It could take quite a while for the groundwater to get from a recharge area to a discharge area, though. Groundwater accumulates at a recharge area after precipitation. It moves from the recharge area to its discharge area very slowly. Depending on the aquifer's makeup, groundwater may move inches per day or per year. Because of this slow pace, it could take anywhere from a few days to get to the discharge area, or up to hundreds of years to reach it. What causes groundwater contamination? Well, many toxic liquids are stored underground. Gasoline is one of these. When an underground storage container has a leak, the damage can be done without us visibly seeing it until later. This leak may or may not be near us, but because of the movement of groundwater and the slow speed of it, the damage can be spread out. Those who come into contact with this contaminated groundwater can suffer bacterial diseases, nervous system disorders, liver or kidney failure, or cancer. Both landfills and septic systems take the waste we do not want. Waste 
must be disposed of somehow, but if they are poorly built, then the waste that we are trying to get rid of can seep into the surrounding soil. If the waste is in the surrounding soil, it can also be cycled through our drinking water. Groundwater can be contaminated through the runoff from fertilized fields, livestock areas, abandoned mines, salted roads, and industrial areas. However, most of these levels are regulated by the EPA for farmers and factories. Homeowners oftentimes are less conscious of what they are putting on their yards because it is not regulated. They can use excessive amounts of fertilizer or pesticides, which contaminate the groundwater. Homeowners at times can dispose of chemicals improperly by dumping them down the drain because they are uneducated on how it will affect the groundwater. It is a problem due to lack of education on many fronts. What are the effects of groundwater contamination? If the groundwater is contaminated with chemicals such as pesticides or contaminated from a leaking storage tank containing gasoline, serious human health problems can result. There are options to treat water once contaminated. These treatments absorb the toxic waste in the water. However, they are very expensive techniques. It can cost the community several millions of dollars to do this process and can double or triple the cost of water. It is much more financially efficient to prevent contamination. The best way to prevent contamination is to be educated on how it is contaminated in the first place. Now you are, so you can help in the movement. First of all, if you are cognizant of how the land is being used and what is being put on it, it is easier to keep the groundwater healthy. If your community agrees to use environmentally friendly materials with lawn and road treatment and disposes of chemicals properly, the groundwater contamination levels will decrease significantly. You may be wondering what you can do. If you would like to benefit your groundwater and live a more sustainable life, please follow this list of tasks. Dispose of chemicals properly by contacting your local health department to see how to dispose of them in your area. Limit fertilizers and pesticides. Reduce your water use through taking shorter showers, running full loads of laundry or dishes, and being conscious of the amount of water running out of your faucet. If you would like to help the Groundwater Foundation in educating others in your community, the Groundwater Foundation has opportunities for that. The Groundwater Foundation has many programs to help educate the public, both adults and youth alike. Groundwater Guardian is a community program of the Groundwater Foundation that provides a framework for community action and groundwater protection by providing recognition, support, and lessons learned. Through this program, communities bring business, government, educators, and citizens together to work on a common issue and towards the common goal of groundwater protection. By committing to be a Groundwater Guardian community, you are committing to the health and prosperity of your family and community through the protection of groundwater. The Groundwater Foundation also works extensively to educate youth about the role the Groundwater Foundation plays in their lives and the role they can play in protecting it. For more information on current programs the Groundwater Foundation offers, please visit our website at www.groundwater.org. For more information, please contact the Groundwater Foundation at 1-800-858-4844, email us at info at groundwater.org, or visit our website at www.groundwater.org.